Shalom Aleichem now, the viewers. We continue with our Shu'urim in Chasidus with the Shem Shmuel, written by Rabbi Shmuel Bornstein, the second Sachat Shavu Rebbe. And we're going to be doing today page Kuf Pei Tes in his uh, book on Chumash Bereshis. Hashir is dedicated to the memory of Rochel Leib Basab Chaim Tzvi Shalom. Now, the beginning of this week's Pasha, Pasha's Vayera, we have the three angels who come to visit Avraham Avinu, each of which coming in a different shlichus for a different reason. And one of the angels is coming, and that's the primary story, at least, in, in the beginning of the Torah, of the Pasha, is to tell Avraham and Sarah Menu that a year to the, that day uh, that they will have a new son, Yitzchak. Now, the question is, why was this uh, message, this new message from Hashem through this angel necessary? Because we read at the end of last week's Pasha, Pasha's Lech Lecha, that as Avraham Avinu was told the mitzvah of bris mila, of uh, doing the bris, the covenant of circumcision, his name was changed to Avraham, and he was also told he would have a son Yitzchak. <coughs> now, this story, which we're reading here in this week in Vayera, is only a few days later, according to Rashi, it's three days after that uh, bris mila, so, three, four days after Avram Avinu was already told that he would have a child, Yitzchak, by Hash, no one less than Hashem is Baruch himself, now that he's sitting and recuperating from, from that circumcision, as Rashi explains, sitting by his tent in the heat of the day, again comes an angel to tell the uh, Surah Tova, the good message that he and his wife Sarah would have this child Yitzchak. Why was it necessary to tell this to them again? Furthermore, it, it, the message was problematic because Sarah Menu doesn't really believe it. And anyway, why wouldn't... It seems that Sarah had never heard this before. So, there's a very big question. Why, 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 what was going on in these three, four days when Avram Avinu heard this message, he never told his wife? And if he didn't, so why didn't he? And if, if she did hear it, so what, what was the second message of these angels going to accomplish? What, what was the point of it? Now, Shem Shmuel has a very fascinating discussion here, uh, and it's also a fundamental discussion, as usual, in his uh, writings. We know, according to the Kabbalah, according to Hasidus, that Avram Avinu, the first uh, Jew, is the epitome of the Midah of Chesed. In the... Uh, seven levels of the Sfirot, of the Midos, of God's traits. So the first Midah is Chesed, is, is God's charity and kindness. And then the second Midah after that, Chesed, is Gevura, God's Din, God's justice. <coughs> now, Avram Avinu is the epitome of Chesed. He is just goodness, just kindness, just Basically, as the Kabbalah says, his pashtus, giving, giving, giving of himself. And Yitzchok, the, the son of Avraham, is the representative, the epitome of the Midah of Din, of, of justice, of law. And it's in a certain way, Chesed and Din are opposites. And uh, I refer you to our earlier Shu'urim and the other Shia we gave on Pasha's Vayera from the Shemesh Shmuel. 
So chesed and din are two pillars, but also sometimes, many times, it seem to be opposing pillars. Now, how does Avraham, this is a mystical question, how does Avraham, who is the epitome of chesed, of goodness, kindness, giving, give birth to a son who is the epitome of din, the opposite, the epitome of justice, of, of law, 